Hello friends. Once again, this is RJ. And I'm back for another episode of do-it-yourself car improvement. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how I was able to remotely control the car via mobile application. So let's go. For this installation, what we will need are, a control module equipped with a Bluetooth mobile application for Android and iOS users. An automotive 5 pin relay for trunk release application. And the existing centralized car alarm system. Let's begin the installation by dismantling the covers to where the existing car alarm is installed. For ease of installation, we'll use the existing centralized car alarm module and connect the new system in parallel and use the same output connection. In the diagram, the upper section pertains to the existing centralized lock and alarm module. It shows the harness pin connection that we are going to use. What we will need are the module pulse outputs for door lock and unlock and the 12 VDC power input. Now, let's expose the module and its harness to tap the new connections. Let's start by providing a 12 VDC power supply to the module. Locate the positive and ground pins. You may use a test light to verify that it has a constant supply. Now that we have verified that it has a 12 VDC, splice the red wire of the module and insulate properly with electrical tape. You may use special connectors for ease and better connection. For ground connection, you may use a multi-tester to verify continuity with the body ground. After which, splice them and insulate. Now, for connection with door actuators, we'll use the output of the existing module. Refer to the wiring diagram of the module or verify using a test pen or multi-tester. The signal is just a pulse, it provides a brief voltage on lock-unlock simulation. The white wire of the new module is for the unlock pulse and the black one is for the lock pulse. Just splice them to the existing outputs and insulate. For the trunk release, new module gives a pulse signal in brown wire. If you have existing trunk controls, it may already have a 5-pin relay. Just verify the existing tapping, the negative pulse is connected to one coil of the relay. While the output of the relay which is positive 12 VDC is to be connected to the positive terminal of the trunk actuator. The relay terminals are numbered based on its diagram, so don't get confused. The negative of trunk actuator is body grounded.
that we already have hardwired the module, it's time to download the application. It is available on both Google Play and Apple App Store. For iOS users, just search for YGD Car Bluetooth and download the application. Once installed, open the application and it will prompt a command to allow access to phone's Bluetooth. To connect with the module, enter the initial password provided in the user's manual. Then, try click the lock, unlock and trunk buttons. The door and trunk actuators should respond accordingly. And that's it. We have successfully installed the mobile car remote control. For additional settings on the app, refer to the manual. Before I say goodbye, as you can notice, the app has start stop engine button in the middle. Please do watch the next episode on how to convert the car ignition key to a push start button and use the mobile engine functionality. Thank you very much.